Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here at the sawmill running more loads with the brand new locomotive. So we did pick up a number three. It is uh, no shock, but it's another 280. Um, the cook. I don't know what this is. I just saw this for the first time today. I think it's like a foot hold or something. I'm sure to stand on or something when you're doing whatever, but if it's not let me know in the comments below if you know i don't know but so we did turn around and pick up the green one uh put 280 on it and cook on the tinder so that's there we have that one hooked up and we'll be running it being like you know first run of the new loco we have started to now now that we're making a thousand a load on the um uh, on the iron route yeah it's the iron route uh things are getting a little easier to fill in locomotives so ran um emptied the mine out <clears throat> and uh bought this one so that's what we did so far making a little bit of progress now i think our next big goal will really be to start laying in a route out to the um be heading out to the coal mine next I believe will be the plan next link in the chain if you will coal not exactly sure how we're gonna take the route out there yet if we're gonna go up the valley or try something different or uh, Maybe a different side of the valley or something like that. Not exactly sure how to do the track out there just yet. Ooh, see all the trucks jumping around? Isn't that weird? Check this. So it's a bit quiet. There we go. Back, 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 back. Way back. There we go. Boom, boom. Hit it. Now we're moving down the rail. Green camouflage. No, just kidding. Uh, I do like the, um, the green cook. It's a nice looking locomotive. Anyway, take a nice close look at that one. Decent looking loco. Kind of keeping it to, um, you know, a cook locomotive order so far on this. Not sure if we'll just do that for, you know, the industries or what. Basically, this is going to be the wood hauler for the iron mine. Is kind of the idea behind this locomotive in general. considered doing the 260 but then kind of figured that really if we want to st end up stepping up the size of this being that it looks like the 280 has plenty more power so we may be able to actually get this up to eight or ten cars up to four percent with this one not totally sure but i'm i do uh tend to lean towards we're going to be adding some more rolling stock to this one uh, checking on the money as you can see back down there was going to turn around and put a caboose on the hoppers, but didn't have the money to do it. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be good. Bring that down. Hit those because we're going to run out of... We are running out. Totally forgot to put wood in the locomotive. Had it sitting there for forever. Take a look around the loco. I'm sure most people have gotten a good look at the 280s by now, but you know, I never saw that step before today when I was taking a look at it. So, you know, more things to do. This thing, it's got to be for a foot. It's got to be so you could walk. You know, you would think. I'm sure, it was probably a pain in the butt to get from here to there. It's got to be what that thing is for. It's for a uh, it's got to be like a foot foot placement, is my guess. Anyway.
pretty good work and of course this is the one that I think the cookies are still in the box yeah there they are if you hadn't seen those before most people have by now I know we showed them off when they first came out so there you go cookies in the cook it's kind of a fun little deal Probably not enough to even get it moving anymore, so it might as well just sit on the brake. Unfortunately. That's the one time that the pop-off valve doesn't just go. Huh. Go figure that. Yeah, so this one we are the number three. Gotta like the shiny bits. Who knows? Cook 280 is definitely a decent little locomotive, though. I mean, it gets the job done, so I think we'll probably be picking up a few of these. The whole thing might just turn around and stick with Cooks, being that there's um, five of them, and then the 260, if we can find a use for that, which I'm sure we can. There's plenty of flat ground stuff coming up. We still need two more heavy haul locomotives for out to the... Um, coal mine will be the plan and then we'll turn around and start you know worrying about flat ground stuff but hopefully we'll be looking forward to the coal update coming out pretty soon i know that timing wise i think it's you know they said three to four weeks that I believe that was about three three and a half weeks ago so should be coming up on the update soon which will be good Definitely looking forward to that. Go. You're over 60. You should move now. Slowly coming to life. That's kind of cool. Take in the sight and sound. Ooh, that tree's pretty close. Should probably go away, though. I don't think it's going to cause any interference. It's actually pretty amazing how much this thing eats up to 4% grade. I'll tell you what. That's my biggest surprise is that I really thought I was building over 3%. It kind of just puts you in the doghouse as far as what you can really haul. I'm amazed that this thing just rips along with the 4% uh, grade underneath, so it's pretty cool. Much stronger locomotive. I figured we'd have to be using class 70s for absolutely everything at this kind of grade and has have not run into that yet, so pretty good, pretty good. This thing really seems to steam right up it. Trying to keep most of the names pre-80 soft coated for everything. Uh, this save file we will be, you know, uh, um, kicking the save file to the um, Discord like last time when we're done with it. So the only thing this time, all the rolling say everything we're just gonna leave. So I'm trying to keep names in a way that everybody will be able to know and just use them. I guess. That's why the, uh, you know, tier two on the side for the cars and the 280 cook, also the cook consolidation, you know, just keeping everything kind of, kind of chilling to the loco. So that's what that's about. As I was asked. And the 280s kind of provide the most different paint options, so or the cooks do, so kind of going with that for now is the idea. Not sure if we'll only have cooks on this one, hopefully, but if everything will work, I don't know. I've also thought about putting some Class 70s out for the 
um, for the coal mine. So comments are welcome on thoughts on that process. All cooks or mixture of locomotives. hard decision to make. I think it'd be kind of cool to actually have like a specific run of locomotives almost. So it's almost my thinking. Alright. And these things seem to handle all the track even where it's not great. Like the stuff up here. Gonna have to do some reworking up here now that we've figured out it'll work. Been looking at and talking with some friends over um, kind of relaying things up here just to clean it up a bit. I think we can get better angles on some things and uh, get it to just be a little cleaner looking. So there we go. Two cooks right there. Just figured for the stop for the photo there or something. Not a bad looking photo. Two cooks in the kitchen. I like that. Pushing through the brake still, even pulling the cars. So there you go. Plenty of power. That's the one thing. No complaints there. And there go the trucks again. You can see those bouncing around. At least it happens a lot smoother than it used to, so it doesn't seem to cause you know so many problems probably need to be over here waiting for it to come in oh and channel news should say a big thank you we did hit 1500 subs recently so that's kind of a benchmark wanted to say thank you thank you for all the new subs and for all the you know long running subs at this point we are approaching our one year mark with railroads online and the channel has been around for just about a year at this point so we'll be having some stuff coming up for that are we going to do a uh, 1500 sub live stream and a one year live stream not sure if they'll be the same one or separate but we'll have those coming up so if you're interested in that kind of thing stay tuned as we will make some announcements when we have something set in concrete but there we go with that. Bring her to a stop there. It's going to put some in there. It's going to eat some though too. So that's fine. As we need to get the uh, mine going again. Because it was totally emptied. Uh, we have well, like one hopper car full on that train. And the rest is kind of waiting to get filled up. So we definitely need to keep hauling. But uh, I think with that one we're going to call it a win. Say thanks for tuning in. Remember if you get a chance. Like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free. But it sure do help the channel. Y'all have a great day.